six million ways to mob, choose one. What's going on boys? I'm going to just do a nice and simple day in the life of an entrepreneur living here on my island in uh, Thailand, Koh Samuin. I've got my lovely girlfriend here as a camera lady as well. So Hi guys! Yeah, it's morning right now. It's uh, half ten. I've been writing a bunch of emails this morning, drying up some tweets. So I'll show you boys quickly what I'm doing. So I have a Notion document basically where I write out all of my tweets for the week. So I sit down, I write 21 tweets straight up and then I schedule them all in and I just get it all done in one day. So it's a lot easier. And I also do the same for emails. I'm going for five emails a week right now and I'm gonna write all five of those today. And I do this because I have a non-negotiable list here. You can see what my days look like, generally speaking. I front load my week with a lot of work, but but then it gets a bit easier as the week goes on. I can still enjoy my weekends. I've still got a few things to do on my weekend, but it's a bit more chill, you know? So that's what's working for me right now. Thought you might be interested in that. And would you look at that? My lovely girlfriend bought me two coffees. Do you want some yogurt? Don't get my feet in the shop. No! Hey! <laughs> right, boys, so I've done all my tweets now. It took a bit longer than I would have liked, but it is done. And now I'm going to do my emails. If you want to join my email list, by the way, I write all of my emails myself, which is uh, very rare. A lot of your favorite content creators are just paying some dude in the Philippines to write their emails for them. I write all of my own shit. I'm very hands-on. And my aim with the email list is to provide as much value as humanly possible while also pushing you in the direction of my product. I'm not going to lie to you. If that sounds reasonable to you guys, you can check out my email list below. But I'm actually sat outside now because I want to get some nicotine going. This is a bit controversial and I know a lot of the hardcore self-improvement guys are going to be judging me here, but I'm a big fan of cigars and this here is a cigarillo, which is essentially just a mini cigar. You don't breathe it into your lungs, so it's not as bad as cigarettes, but there is obviously health risks, much like with anything that you do. I know it's very easy to point at me smoking a cigar or a cigarillo and be like, oh, it was a tight wannabe. It's not the case. I just really like cigars and nicotine really gets my brain going. So also, I use snus as well. I don't use snus very often. If I'm doing a really heavy work block, I might stick a tobacco-free nicotine pouch in my top lip there just to get my brain going. I guess I just want to open your guys' eyes to what life can look like on a day-to-day -day basis if you put in the hard work. And then you can start living your life on your own terms. You know, I wasn't happy when I was in the UK living with my parents. I'm so much more happy now that I'm able to live out here. Also providing for my beautiful girlfriend as well, giving her an amazing life, which makes me feel so good as a man. And working on things which I'm genuinely passionate about, trying to solve people's problems, you know. I hope to meet more of you guys out here in Thailand as well. I'm gonna get on with these emails now. Well, 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 look who's back from the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is all of the tweets and the emails done. So I'm gonna head over to my favorite restaurant, local Thai restaurant just around the corner, who served me up a beautiful, delectable meal, which is incredibly healthy for the low, low price of £2.50. And Natalie's on meal prep, which is super healthy as well. I'm gonna show you guys my motorbike. <laughs> oh, yes. Now we're talking. I usually wear my helmet, but uh, I'm literally going like one minute around the corner, so I'm not going to bother. And uh, if the Lord decides to punish me for that, then so be it, you know. Janos. This place is fucking golden. Coming to Thailand for the first like year, I was only on an automatic scooter because I've never driven a car or anything like that. So I didn't understand the clutching system, but recently I've thrown myself in a deep end and I've just rented out a motorbike and I'm like, fuck it, just get on the road and figure it out. It's kind of scary, especially considering that the ring road here is the highest fatality motorbike crash road in the world. I just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna send it. Got myself a bike, figured out the gears, and it's so worth it, man. And you might have noticed as well, it doesn't have a license plate, and it's also got a custom exhaust. If the police see me, they're, they're not gonna be very happy, but it's a fucking wild west out here, man. Food acquired, boys. And also a coconut for the missus so she doesn't lose her mind. If she doesn't get a daily coconut, guys, oof, I'm in big trouble. Now I've got to drive home with these highly delicate items on my handlebar. Wish me luck. 
baby. I got you a bag coconut. It's a rare coconut where most of the juice is in the bag rather than the coconut itself. So it's a uh, Capri Sun. Yeah, it's a Capri Sun, but a coconut. The engine on my bike, as soon as you turn it on, it's like. So the coconut didn't stand much of a chance, but oh well. We move. Food objective complete. That Here it is, so guys. <laughs> oh yes. Time to pack my bag. If you don't know what Fight Club is, it's basically something we've set up here on my island in Samui, where we meet up once a week and we beat the shit out of each other. It's good fun. Guess who figured out the camera mounts? Fuck yes. If you're gonna be sparring with the boys, okay, brush your teeth beforehand. You're gonna be like in each other's faces. You're probably gonna be breathing quite heavily. You can't be having smelly breath, man, okay? Give your teeth a brush, give your tongue a brush. Your boys will appreciate it, man. idea if my GoPro is recording, let's see. Hey, are we live? I've arrived at my gym. This is where I lift my weights, but also this is where we've established a new fight club. This is my friend Plant, Mr. Plant. Gonna be punching each other in the, in the face today. The most scuffed sign ever. Boom. We're the first to arrive, Plant. Like I say, it's not my Thai gym, it's just a little room in the back of the weightlifting gym. But it gets the job done for us to just come in here, beat the shit out of each other. There's no aircon, so it's like, it's just brutally hot in this room. The last time we did this fight club, if you stood out there and looked in, the room was like misty. There was like 20 guys just beating the fuck out of each other in here. It's gonna be a good one. This may be the last time you see me in a non-sweaty form. Take it in, boys. Oh, we've got our second arrival. I've got no boxes on me. No box? Boxes. I don't have any boxes on either. Yeah, let them hang, bro. This is well. We're gonna be doing cigar Sundays after this. Wow, wow, well, wow! Well, well. Look who's arriving. Hello. me in the corner over there just raping me the whole so time right? <laughs> <laughs> oh there it is the ult 
Be known. I Luke am burping hard right now. Bro. We're free. So I'm gonna go to the cigar shop, buy some cigars for my podcast. I don't want to disturb the peace any more than that. <laughs> There's a cat cafe right there. <laughs> the cats are right like. Oh. Take you up to paradise up above And you would tell me I'm the only one that you love Life could be a dream to the sweetheart Hello, hello again She moved me so we would be again Hell and ding dong Shalang a la dang a la dang a la dang a la You guys can't tell I'm living in paradise I get a lot of DMs on Instagram when people get to Koh Samu and they're asking me, Sam, where do you get your cigars? And I'll show you guys now at the risk of my cigar stash being molested by everyone who arrives here, but sharing is caring. Omart Liquor. It's in Bangrak. They've got a nice little humidor you can see right there. There it is. The stash. Pretty reasonably priced as well. I've also got all of your cigar paraphernalia. So you come here, you get everything you need to smoke some cigars, sorted. And at the bottom they've also got that snus which I was telling you about earlier. And also cigarillos, I can recommend these ones, they're very nice. Getting these for some Cigar Sunday's guests. I let them decide which ones they want to smoke, I just grabbed a handful. Now let's get back, I need to shower, I'm disgustingly sweating. <laughs> Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Every time I look at you, something is on my mind. Accident there, always wear a helmet, boys. Always. I see an accident here every single day. So fast. Oh, life could be a dream. I want to show you if I could take you up to paradise. fucking shower all right boys just gonna set up the podcast area now i've got a meal in there will's on the way we're gonna get some soft box lights just to light the area and then we're gonna sit down chill smoke a cigar talk business upload it to the youtube hopefully you guys get a bunch of value from it boom boys we got the fucking cigar sundays set up it's a very delicate operation if we knock anything it's like over everything's just falling over but it's like jenga on its last legs. <laughs> we got Will over there, he's ready to spit some value for the boys. Let's fucking go. Podcast done, it went really well. It was a great conversation. I'm now going to head to Ark Bar. Quite late, I usually wouldn't be going out at this time, but my friend David's on the island and is leaving tomorrow, so I'm gonna make an effort, go and see him. We'll smoke some shisha, chill for a bit, and then I'll head back. <laughs> This is Chiwang, and Chiwang is like party central of the island. If you want a party, you come to Chiwang. It's got everything you need. We're not doing any partying. We're just going to the beach bar, chilling. <laughs> this is gonna be your intro for the next video. Hey, you fucking subscribe! Brilliant, thanks David. I was lost for value. Let's have a walk through. I'm gonna walk through to do bark through. Right. I'm leaving those guys to do bark through. I'm gonna head back. Head to bed. My life be like, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Boys, it's the next day now. Sorry I 
didn't talk to you last night. I just got in straight to bed. But that is uh, a day in my life. And I hope that was entertaining to you. And I hope it was also inspiring for you. This is the sort of day you can achieve when you start making some money online. Not even that much money, honestly. I could live this lifestyle quite comfortably on like $2,000 a month. And that is really not difficult at all to earn online if you know what you're doing. If you want more of my guidance in making money online, specifically through video editing, which is exactly how I do it, click the links in the description right now. I'll teach you exactly how with over 500 of my other students. And as you can see on the screen, we're getting excellent results inside of my academy. You could be next. Hope to see you out here with me soon, bro. Take care, man. Ice.